Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Confusion and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool transition that uses custom masking to reveal a shot. It's one of those things that if you add it to your videos, people will know that you put in that extra little effort, which really makes a difference. Anyways, guys, without any further ado, let's jump right in. So here on my timeline, I have two clips. The first clip is the shot that will reveal the second clip. So for this first clip, it's important to have the subject go across the whole shot and fill the entire frame. So a shot like this is perfect because it fills the whole shot and goes from left to right. So to start off, select your first clip and place your playhead at the frame where you want to start the reveal transition. So for me, it's right as this bike passes and I can just barely see a little bit of sky behind his head. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and head over to the effects control window, which if you don't see that, you can enable it by clicking on window and then clicking on effect controls. So once you get that window up and you're selected on your first clip, we're gonna go ahead and select the pen tool to start our mask. This will create a mask for you. Toggle on all the stopwatches for mask path, feather, opacity, and expansion. That way if we make any adjustments while we're masking it out on feathering or expansion, they will be recorded into keyframes. All right, so now I'm just gonna be taking the pen tool and just begin drawing out my mask for this bike for the first frame here. It helps to be as accurate as possible as you do this so it's super clean. If you do need a bigger view, you can double click on this program window right here and it will basically enlarge it so you can see a bigger picture of what you're trying to do. Once you complete the mask shape, come back over to effect controls and click this box that says inverted. That way it will mask out this gap rather than the bike. The black mask means that it's transparent. So wherever you black out, it'll let the clip beneath it through. Now you'll probably want to mess with the mask feather to get a smoother edge. And you'll also need to increase the mask expansion to compensate for the feathering you just did. That looks good. So now I'll move to the next frame by hitting the right arrow key. Now I'm gonna take the mask path and move it to kind of match up with the previous position we had it in before. I'm also going to need to create more points because the mask area increased by quite a bit. As you move along with your mask, keyframes will automatically be created if you make a change to your mask path. So you don't need to worry about adding a keyframe for every frame. So keep moving the mask and lining it up with the edge all the way until the subject just about gets off frame. So now that I'm here on the last frame where the bike is still in the shot, I'm going to go to the next frame over by hitting the right arrow key and just pull the mask to fill the whole frame, which means everything in my timeline below this will be visible. Now you'll wanna go back to your very first keyframe and move the mask off frame since there is no gap yet. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's in the gray area outside your footage. That way, when I advance forward, it just snaps to that position. Now that you have this fully masked out, let's drag the second clip underneath the first clip and position it so it begins right at that first keyframe. All right, let's go ahead and play it back from the beginning and see how it looks. At this point, if there are any mistakes in the mask or anything that needs to be cleaned up, you can go back and do that. And that's how you create a custom masked reveal transition in Premiere Pro. You can do this in any standard editor like Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. It's the same principle in every editor. And honestly, I think it's worth the five to 10 minutes to really add that touch that makes your videos look so much more professional. And it also shows that you care a lot about your videos. I recommend going out and shooting something to try this for yourself. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, guys, Peace out.